Mutzenmandeln are a regional treat from the area of Rhineland, that is where Köln and Frankfurt and Düsseldorf are. And it's also a seasonal treat and is enjoyed between New Year's and Carnival, so January, February, that time of the year. How these little treats are made, I will show you in this video. Before I quickly walk you through the ingredients, I want you to know here is the blog post with the printable recipe and you can switch between the metric system and the US customary system. So if you prefer cups over grams, no problem, you can just switch it there and then print it in your preferred measurement. What you need is 500 grams of flour, 150 grams of sugar, three eggs, 150 grams of butter, pinch of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, some rum extract, and you will need something to cut out the shape. So I have this thing here, which is from Germany. My daughter had to send it to me. It was not possible to buy it here the time I was looking for it. Might have changed in the meantime, maybe check it out. But most likely you won't have this thing. So unless you know someone who has a 3D printer and can make one for you, or someone from Germany to send it to you, you will have to do something else. And here's my tip, just use a heart shape cookie cutter and um, when you cut them out you just cut them in halves and that way you will just be able to have the same shape that I have here and even the size is about the same. Making the dough is very easy. You basically throw all the ingredients into your mixing bowl and mix it. So and once this is all nicely combined, I will put this onto my board here and I just give it a quick knead by hand with personal touch. So I will wrap this now and then it goes into the fridge for an hour. After an hour in the fridge, I will now roll this out. And the thickness of rolling out is about one centimeter. That's roughly the thickness of a finger. And um, then I have to cut it out. But let me first roll this dough. And so, as I mentioned before, if you don't have one of these special uh, cookie cutters for Mutzenmandeln, you can just use a heart shape and cut it out like this. And then you just cut it in half and then you have the same shape that you would have with the Mutzenmandeln cookie cutter. Okay, so but I'm using this now. And another method is to use two small spoons to shape this. That would be another variety and there are different dough recipes by the way so you can 
have a dough where you use some marzipan in it and some people make it with a quark uh, dough so there are different variations just so you know if you know a different recipe that's not wrong and mine is not wrong it's just a different variety okay so I will continue to cut out now as many mutzen mandeln as I can get and then I will go over to the stove and will fry them in oil Okay, so this is already the second batch. I accidentally forgot to start the camera. So I just put these into the hot oil and I heated the oil to 340 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 170 degrees Celsius. And I throw some of them in, not all at once. And as you can see, when they are baked, I just cover them with some confectioner's sugar. You could also use some regular sugar, but I like confectioner's sugar for this. You see here, after a while, they come and float on the surface of the oil. And now I just have to wait until they have this nice golden color. And I move them a little bit every now and then just to make sure that they are evenly in the oil. And once they've reached this nice golden color I just transfer them to the cooling rack Look at this! Pretty isn't it? So there's one thing that I really want you to be aware of when you are frying these. When you put the mozzanmandeln dough into the hot oil, of course the hot oil will cool a little bit. And if you put too many of the mozzanmandeln, it will cool a lot more. So if the oil is too cool, then you will end up with a mushy mass of oil-soaked dough and it won't work out. So you really have to make sure that your oil has a temperature of 340 degree Fahrenheit or 170 degree Celsius, which is sometimes difficult on an electric stove, probably a little bit easier on a gas stove, but that's really important and a key to a successful Mutzenmandel baking. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you try this recipe. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned, hit the bell button and the subscribe button and watch my next video coming up in just a few seconds. <laughs>